if you look at the principle behind the Timothy Initiative being like Paul mentoring Timothy, working side by side with him. What better way to work with men than in a construction site? Um, we work out there with them, side by side, training, teaching, and then some of the men already come in with experience in that field. And so they're once again given an opportunity to, to use their skills that they've, you know, thought they've forgotten. Because it's kind of hard to get a job as a, you know, construction worker or anything when you're homeless and you're still drinking and you're still out on the streets. So for us, it's like, hey, let's get you back out there. Let's get your mind working. Let's get you, you know, back doing what you know how to do and um, take it from there. So the construction business um, is like a metaphor. We take old broken down homes and we rebuild them and we make them beautiful and livable again. And that's what we, you know, try to facilitate between God and the individual and their own lives. We take men that most people would see that are broken down and maybe have been cast away by society. And we try to introduce them into this God that will reshape them, rebuild them and make them beautiful once again. If somebody approached us was like, hey, we have this old screen printing, um, screen printing equipment. Uh, you could you could use it. You could work with your guys. You could teach them some new things. Maybe you could make some money, um, support your ministry. And we were just like, let's go for it. So I I kind of became the guinea pig for that, and mm -hmm. I took the equipment and learned it. And really wasn't until a year later where we had some some structure, knew what we were doing, and then launched the business from there. Um, and since then we've got all new equipment, and we're we're at a sustainable place. And we're just trying to work with a handful of guys every day. Um, printing t-shirts for people and it's just it, it's the, the beauty of it I think is it's it's a detailed process it's not easy to do and it just shows you um, that these guys you may think can't do much can, can really make something beautiful can make an excellent end product I got involved with uh, the initiative and uh, grew in my relationship with God and Doing work, doing construction, living life, doing Bible studies, and, and really showing God's grace in my life uh, through what I've been through, through my addiction, through all the hard times in my life, and, and showing how God's brought me through that. The initiative saved my life. Uh, I fell in love with God this way, and uh, that, that's pretty much it. These men are not a 9-to-5 thing. They are our equal. We, we do life with them, they see our faults, we see their faults, and we work off of each other. We learn from them, you know, just as much as they learn from us. All we do, are, like, privately, what we say is, like, we provide an opportunity. We give guys an opportunity. You meet somebody who says, I just wish I had a chance to do this. Well, we give them that chance. You know, we give them a chance to, to have friends, to have community, to have a job sometimes, to have work, to do all of these things. We provide them with an opportunity to um, actually change their life. I think for us what we need would be mentors, people to come into the, to the lives of the men that we work with. In order to provide opportunities for these men, we need partners to support us financially. We have needs, housing, staff for discipleship, rehabilitation, and the list goes on. The money we use goes directly into the investment of these men's lives. We are just a group of guys doing life together. And we are led, you know, we try to be led by, by the Holy Spirit and we follow Jesus with all our heart and um, that's what we are. If you come to us expecting something that you've seen before, you're not going to get that. You will see, well, this is a community of men that are tr truly living for Jesus to the best of their abilities in every way, shape and form through some really bad times and some really good times, you know, through people going to prison through people overdosing, to people getting two, three years sober, to baptisms, to, to funerals. I mean, but it's just life. And it, we have to be um, side by side with one another walking through these things. We don't live separate lives from the people we work with. Um, it's not like I go home and, and go do my life. My life is this ministry. Will's life is this ministry. It is these men. And Jesus' life was his disciples. So. We just try to live in that way.